Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Jake Rushing is a friend of mine because he's one of my Patreons. Thank you, Jake. And he wanted me to react to Cynic. Turns out I did react to one Cynic tune about a year ago, and I just had a quick listen to it. I want to listen to the whole song again, but I don't really have time. I have to go to work right after this video. And uh, and it turns out, too, that video, which will be linked below, uh, my camera was out of focus or something, so I had to put a weird filter on it to sort of cancel out that focus, out of focusness. Anyways, so let's react to this uh, this very new song, actually. They have a new album out, according to Jake, and uh, obviously it's worth checking out. He said it's his, one of his favorites now. So let's react. Here we go. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I really have to see the lyrics. It, this is one of those songs that um, uh, it was harder to make out some of the lyrics, but I definitely 
became very curious about the lyrics. The, the feelings I had on this song uh, transitioned a bit. Like by the end there, I was just melting. You know, when it got quiet, that part, I just melted for that part. That section just, whoa, I just, I just pulled me in. And um, was the first half of the song preparing me just for that? That's the question, right? So that was a mind-blowing song there by the end. At the first, as I was listen listening to it, it was to me, it's a very layered song. I mean, if I'm going to like fa find a a comparison or a metaphor for how... I was thinking like going to an art museum, and this is sort of like a painting that has many layers, and it looks kind of busy, but if you mentally dissect it and say, oh yeah, there's a square there, there's, 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 that, sh there's that kind of shape form, and then there's this here, this kind of texture underneath it. So it's very layered... And um, I think it's one of those songs that you, you, the first time it's not going to grab you. I guess there's nothing in there that I would like. And if I was a a and R at a record label or something, and I was looking for more pop music, this band would definitely not appeal to me. They're just doing something that's their thing. They're just doing their thing, and um, whoever connects with it's going to connect with it. That's just, to me, that's a very natural way to approach it. So Cynic are really an intriguing band and um, super unique and uh, it seems to me they have a lot to say musically. Let's take, take a quick look at the lyrics. So the first line is like, I was floating through a beam of light. And for me, that's exactly, I guess, what I would describe what happened to me when the song finally came to that peak uh, at there and that slowed down. Uh, I was floating through like a beam through a beam of light, saw the edge of a ship in the sky, entered through a port from below. Crystalline machinery exposed. Oh cool, this is very science fiction-y. Yeah, I'm I'm big on sci-fi. How about how about all of you? I'm just curious, uh, if you're into progressive rock, would you say that you are a sci-fi fan or a fantasy fan or both? or not a fan. I'd, I'd say, uh, leave a comment below. I'd be very surprised if any progressive rockers uh, were not into science fiction. You know, maybe they may lean toward fantasy, you know, Lord of the Rings or whatever, as toward uh, hard science like Arthur C. Clarke. Or... So, really inspiring, a bit of a spacey feel to it. That makes sense, looking at the lyrics. And the name of it too, Sixth Dimensional Archetype. So uh, they're, they're big thinkers here in the band, and um, they are not afraid to just be themselves, obviously, because uh, <clears throat> it's it's nice, fresh, original-sounding approach to music. So that's the React. Thanks for checking it out, and we'll spiral out until our next video. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.